Hi, my name is Pedro. I'm from the Glass Scratch Remover of Miami. We have this one panel here of glass. We've got a pretty bad scratch in it, and we're going to show you how to take that out. Now, let me start by saying this. We have two types of scratches. We got the lighter scratches, and we got the deeper scratches. The deeper scratches, if you can put your nails through it, you should probably call a professional for that. On the lighter scratches, there is a chance that you could find a product called cerium oxide in your local store, and that, with the right tools, you should be able to remove that light scratch. Now let me show you the tools that we use when it comes to these deeper scratches, which is what I'm going to demonstrate here for you guys. First, you got to have this high-speed drill. This is going to be fast enough, and it's going to work very well with these pads that we use to remove these deeper scratches. The first pad is going to go straight to the bottom of the scratch. Once that scratch is totally removed, we're going to follow through with the other pads that will reduce that haze until we get to the point of the very light scratch and we'll remove that with the cerium oxide. Let's get started. As you can see, the haze is starting to come out and we've already reduced the scratch in this area. You can barely see it, but in this area, you can see it's the deepest. That's why we're here. That's why this client has brought us this panel to replace, and instead of replacing it, to fix it. Now this dust that you see is glass. Now the deeper it is, the longer it is going to take to take it out. But you can see most of it's gone already on this side. It's got a little bit deeper here. This is more than likely where the scratch started. Usually the impact gets in deeper and then as, a, as whatever did the damage goes away, it lightens up and the pressure comes off. You can see that haze is nice and uniform. That's key to being able to take the scratch out and not leaving any distortion. So now in this case, you can see that that scratch there is still pretty deep. So we're going to go in and bring out the, the heavy, heavier duty polishing pads. But for the most part, the rest of the scratch here has already come down and it's gone. But I'm going to use this special pad for this. So I had, as I just told you, I'm going to demonstrate this one pad. This is a mesh pad. This is pretty heavy duty. This will take out any scratch really quick. We use them on bigger jobs, but just to show you guys how well it works, I'm going to use it on this deeper part of the scratch. Pretty gone. Almost there. Now one thing you got to be careful with is the temperature on this glass. You don't want it to get it too hot because there is a chance that it can break. We like to keep our temperature in between 120 to 150 degrees. For that, I got this little guy. This will take your temperature. 
You can see we're at 118 to 100 and 130 on the hottest spot. So we're still pretty good there. So we're going to continue. Okay, that was it. A couple seconds there. I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to switch these out and go back to that number one pad, which is the one I was using before, because I always got to go to the next pad before I go to the first. So this one will take the scratches or the haze that this other pad had just created. Once the scratch is gone, the process goes by pretty quick because all you're doing is removing the haze from the previous pad. Okay, everyone, this looks pretty good. I've already taken a good look at it. The scratch is all gone. And as you can see, the haze has gone a little further outside of this line. Now, the thing is, you want to spread this out as much as possible because remember, you're digging into that glass and that is going to create a little bit of distortion so the more you spread it out the better it's going to look at the end and that's what we typically practice when we're doing this so this is done this first pad is done i want to go now to the second pad or the third if you consider that first heavier duty one and this is going to lighten up this big haze now you really want to do a concentrate quite a bit on, on, the, on the outside because where you notice is the transition between the haze and the clear. So you want to make sure that edge is really nice and fluffed out so you don't notice any haze towards the end of the, of the process. That's it for that pad. You can see it's eating away the glass. You see that dust? Just want to clean that off. Give it a little wipe. It's looking great. I'm going to go to the next pad. And all we're doing here is removing this haze to bring it back to clear. Last pad. Before we get to that cerium oxide I explained earlier in the video. That's pretty clear. Probably see it in the video, but okay. So this, as you can see, this has been a dry process. We're not introducing any water, no sprays here, no cerium oxide. This is like a liquid paste. But since we've just finished this last process, this last pad, now we got to go to the the cerium oxide. So we need to let this cool down just a bit because the temperature is always being driven up. Not too bad. We're at about 120 degrees overall. Some spots are a little lighter, 110 or so. So we're just going to let it cool down a bit. Something you can do is use a, a mister onto a, a, a microfiber towel, very light, very light mist, and just you know wipe it down with a with a moist towel. Not something wet, but just moist to help cool it down a bit. But for the most part. It's not, we're not too hot. We're not at 150 degrees. It's not going to blow up on you. It's not going to crack. So let me get started here. I need to get that mister. My assistant here. Thank you. Okay, so we're just going to spray this a bit, this pad that I got. Get it prepped and ready. Something I always like to do is Use that marker again. 
that you can see where I marked the, the initial scratch. Now what I want to do is mark this haze kind of where, where I've left that haze mark because trust me, once I get going with this cerium oxide, I'm going to make a little bit of a mess. So that haze is going to be a little tougher to see. So I mark it so I know where I'm working. So got a little bit of tape here. The tape, excuse me. Now the tape is going to help reduce the mess. I use blue tape, don't need anything else. This is inch and a half because it helps maintain everything, all the splattering inside this small area. You know, if you're working in your bathroom, if you're working on a, somebody's window or a door, you want to try to keep it as nice and clean as possible. Otherwise, people are going to get upset. That's not what you want. You want to make everybody happy. Keep them happy. Keep money in their pockets. <laughs> I can feel the heat coming off of this. It's nice and warm. But it's all right. So you can see that haze. And we're going to finish up now with this cerium oxide. And you'll see how quick it goes away. Careful now. I like to just give it a little wipe around the outside. Now we do have different size pads that we use depending on whatever it is we're, we're using it on. This glass door, it's a small area. We're using the smaller pads. They focus in really good and they really take care of the problem really quick. see the shine going coming through already I can see it here that haze is practically gone which means this door is practically new again you don't have to replace it you don't have to order one you don't have to worry about ordering one and then having it scratched on the way home for it to to be installed again you just give us a call and we'll take care of it on the spot just as fast as you saw us take care of this one So this cerium oxide has, it's like a, a really, it's a fine paste, but it has a little bit of grit in it, just enough to be able to remove that haze. And it works with water, obviously, you see that. All right, that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to clean it up with this other pad I got. This last one is just to clean it up a bit. Get rid of all this haze from the paste. It's just to clean it. And there you have it. Let's take this tape off. Give it a little wipe.
And there you have it, guys. That scratch is as good as gone. If you need our help, you can click and subscribe, share with your friends, help them save money, or help yourselves. Thanks. This is Pedro with the Scratch Remover of Miami.